So we are here bird spotting, fish spotting, enjoying a part of Colchester that only people in Colchester would know. And because my Uncle Dean lives here. They see the vampires park goes by up there the tide. Does it? When you get a spring tide, that gets flooded sometimes. So the tide can go right up to there. Oh wow. The water looks really clear though, did it? Really nice and clear. Moment. When the tide comes, it up. It's muddy. Okay. It's still. So you can tell the tide's out by how yeah. clear the water is. Yeah. When it's high tide, it goes still for an hour. They call it dead calm. Yeah. And when it turns, that's when the fish start fighting. Uncle Dean, so when was this open to boats and when was it all being used by boats and people? I remember in the 70s at the Hive and that. So you haven't seen much of it since the 70s? 81, they stopped coming up here. So in, in 1981, they stopped using this for commercial my use. Yeah. And that was about 39 years ago, or 40 there, years ago. Well, you've got opportunity. Yep. Um, in 82, when I was 16, I used to look over here and you see the mirror carp, shoals of them like that. And where are they gone now, eh? Where are they all gone? That's, that's, that's down to the farmers and people not treating the land. So me and Uncle Dean have just told you some history about the river at the mill in Colchester, which closed to the public in 1981. There's been no boats since. But before then, it was like Cambridge. People used to come up here on their gondoliers and they'd just eat their ice cream. And they'd say, just one cornetto, give it to me. Beautiful ice cream from me to me. It's a stony. You see that? No salt water left over? Yep. It's all up. So there you go, there's some history from the Mill River from me and Uncle Dean. Shine on! <laughs>